In other news on this July 4th, the Pentagon is now grounding its entire fleet of brand new F-35 fighter jets. Military officials are ordering additional inspections of that warplane's single engines. Obviously, this video was taken before the grounding. There was a fire on a runway last month at a Florida Air Force base that forced the pilot to abort the takeoff, and the cause of that fire is still unknown. Elizabeth Pran is live in Washington with more. Elizabeth, what caused the fire, or at least what caused the grounding after the fire? Well, the Pentagon's F-35 program office announced the suspension of the fighter jets' flights for both Air Force and Navy after, you said, the jet caught fire on June 23rd at Eglin Air Force Base in northwest Florida. The Pentagon releasing this statement, and it reads, the root cause of the incident remains under investigation. Additional inspections of F-35 engines have been ordered, and return to flight will be determined based on inspection results and analysis of engineering data. But as you may know, the grounding of the F-35 fleet is really nothing new. It has happened a number of times, most recently last month after an in-flight oil leak triggered a mandatory fleet-wide inspection. Leland? All right, so Elizabeth, there's obviously been a lot of controversy over the F-35 program. Huge expense going on. One of the particular issues has been a lot of talk about the engine. Is there any history with who actually made this engine that has the problem? Well, in fact, there is. While the aircraft itself is being designed and built by a Lockheed Martin team, the engine is being mostly constructed by Pratt & Whitney. And as you may know, like you said, funding for the F-35 has been a point of contention for lawmakers on the Hill. Pratt & Whitney, one of the main contractors for the project, racked up one of the most expensive tabs in Pentagon history. And while many in Congress, particularly fiscal conservatives, lobbied for building a backup engine, and they pushed for General Electric. But many military officials and the administration want to trim the budget and they pushed solely for the Pratt and, and Whitney engine. This latest grounding occurs, Leland, as the overall running bill for the program is right around $398 billion. And when it Leland? comes to the F-35, the hits just keep on coming. Elizabeth Pran, live in Washington. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks.